Welcome back to the uh, homestead. We got a couple things on our plate this week for projects. The first project is we're going to finally get in our wildflower garden that's going to support our pollinators, such as the hive of bees that we've got in our old barn. And we've got another hive that's on the far north side of the property as well. Uh, what we've got here is we've got some Maximilian sunflowers growing and we've got some goldenrod, which is great for our pollinators. And what we want to do is we want to increase the diversity. If you look around, you're going to see all these sunflowers starting to bloom. They're not your traditional type of sunflowers. Again, they're called a Maximilian sunflower. And we've got a lot of goldenrod mixed in. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a little bit of diversity to that. We've got uh, a four ounce packet of the wildflower uh, from Seed Savers for pollinators. And what we're going to do is right around where our survivability garden is, we're going to take a tiller, rototiller, and we're going to till up about the first three to four inches of topsoil. We're not going real deep with this. And the reason we're going to go ahead and till is because we've got all this switchgrass that's growing wild. And we want to get rid of the switchgrass. We're going to till that under, break up its root system, so that we give the, uh, the wildflower garden a, uh, a good chance of growing. afternoon today like I said this week we're going to be working on our uh, wildflower border project and what we've done is we've just taken a rototiller uh, across and we've turned over about the top three to four inches of soil here and we've pretty much pulled off all of this the uh, switchgrass and we've got these bags of uh, well it's from the seed savers exchange and this is a flower wildflower bee feed mix that they have. It's uh, got forget-me-nots in it, Siberian wallflower, poppy, coneflower, aster, and about 13 other uh, varieties of wildflower that are will do quite well here in, in uh, Iowa. We've got our shaker jar which we filled with about a third of sand and then the rest was seeds and basically we're just going to go along now and mix all of our seed in to our borderline here and then we'll come back through with the rake and we'll rake them in and then a little bit of water and cover them and we'll see what grows. You don't often see her because she's behind the camera, but this is my wife who helps me out with all the projects on the homestead. And right now we've sown all of our wildflower seeds and we're putting some organic peat moss on top to kind of keep things trapped inside as far as well, the water and just another layer of protection for the seeds. Well, that's a wrap for today. We did finish our wildflower border we put four ounces of wildflower seeds that we talked about at the beginning of this video. We've got probably about 100, 125 feet. So we put in quite a bit of the seed. We turned it back under the soil and then we've got some organic peat moss that we put on top. It's been raining here the last few days. So the ground is good and soggy. So I'm not worried about watering it right now. And the peat moss is gonna kind of keep that moisture in since we did uncover the ground we, our big concern is evaporation of that water. That's the whole thing with permaculture and what we're trying to do with regenerative ag is we want to keep the water in the soil where we need it. And right now, we need the, we need the water right here to help with these wildflower seeds. So again, 
Thanks for watching. We appreciate it if you subscribe. It's beautiful stars. I want to drive a faster car. I'm going to be myself. I'm going to be someone else. I'm going to be myself. I'm going to be someone else. I'm going to skip my breaks. I'm going to make mistakes. I'm going to skip my breaks. I'm going to make mistakes. Try not to hold me down. Feel alive when I'm in this town. Look at these beautiful stars. I want to drive a faster car. Nothing can break me. Nothing can break me. Try not to hold me down. Feel alive when I'm in this town. Look at these beautiful stars. I want to take a trip to Mars. Nothing